Hey guys, I'm going to show you a few clips from my weekend metal detecting. Um, nothing spectacular, but it was pretty spectacular with my schedule that I even got to go metal detecting. Had a lot of fun. So, hey, let's take a look. Just out hunting the park today. But I tell you what, there is nothing like duck hunting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, feels like iron. Maybe a little bit of paint left on it. Get it cleaned up later. All right, got a little interesting find here. Um, pulled up what I believe was a tax token. It is, it's kind of hard to read, but I'll see if I can focus on it. And uh, a little bit unique for me because we're here in the state of Louisiana and I can see Alabama State on it. And yeah, if you look hard enough on the back, you can see tax something. So it looks like an Alabama tax token. I'll get it cleaned up later. We'll take a look at it. On to the next. All right, just pull that Alabama State tax token from right here and had another signal. These are really scratchy signals. It's got a lot of iron in here, but it looks like just a few inches over. And I, I'm going to guarantee that's going to be a Louisiana tax token. I've pulled a bunch of those. So it looks like we had a little token pocket spill right here. All right, see you at the next. All right, Alabama tax token, Louisiana tax token, a few inches over. Looks like the lid to a compact, and I'm not sure if you're going to see this. I can, I can make out it says American Beauty in the middle, and at the top, let's see, it says Elmo. So I'll have to look that up. All right, see you at the next. All right, next find looks like like a portion of it, just an old spoon. Pretty cool. See you at the next. Okay. A few more inches over, it looks like I found the bottom to the count compact. And it does say paintbrush. And again at the top, Elmo. So pretty cool, finding both parts of that. All right, on to the next. All right, had a thing in 99 signal. Finally got this out from underneath all the roots. I have no idea what it is, but it is heavy. It's heavy as heck. It looks, feels like lead, but it, it looks like brass. I'm not sure. Um, obviously a part to something. And I can see, it looks like a serial number in here. 00700-2, So, huh? don't see any other markings, but We'll get this thing cleaned up and uh, take a look at it. See you at the next. Hey guys, got the old AT Pro out and hunting the park and a little scratchy signal. And I usually only find clad out here. I have found a couple of things, but it's it's hard to find. And came across a wee penny. Um, about four inches down. I think this thing's in remarkable shape compared to what I usually pull. Um, gosh, 1940-something. Let's take a look at the back. Okay, happy with that. Let's see if we can get something else. Out popped a wheat. And I believe that is a 1935D, so not, not a bad, not a bad wheat. All right, it's just a Lincoln, but if I'm gonna show a Lincoln, check this out, 1964, and look at the luster on that. I think that's a keeper. Okay, for the wrap up, um, got quite a few items that I didn't do clips on, but was just gonna take a quick look at some of them. And we all know the infamous 22 shells, other casings. Um, these things can drive you absolutely bonkers with the signals that they give you. Um, they're right under the surface, and I'll tell you they're six inches down. But, uh, you just got to learn to read those. But I've, those are only two of them. I've, I've probably got a bag full of a hundred of those. Um, neat little buckle. Um, kind of give you the idea of the size there. I don't know if that was horse tag or, or from a belt, a child's belt. It's very small. But cool. Um, this was kind of a neat find. It's a, it's a heart pin. 
There's no markings on it. It's it's junk, but it was found in an area where some older stuff was found, so I'm that it is older. Found a lock piece from Leader and tried to Google that and got absolutely nothing. So not sure on that one. And I like finding the old pocket knives. Got a half of a pocket knife. I guess you would say that is half bad shape. Not finding those. And found a couple of tax tokens we saw clips of. We got the Alabama tax token. That's pretty cool finding that in Louisiana, right next to a Louisiana tax token. Uh, one mil aluminum luxury tax, I believe. There's the duck. Still hadn't figured this one out. It is like a big chunk of iron. Has a little bit of a paint to it. So I'm not sure what that went to or what it was put on. That's cool finding that. That was unique. And my second compact that I have found. And it's made by Elmo. Kind of looked that one up. Um, putting it around the, the 40s, I'm thinking. And a little more modern finds. Not really 100% sure what this is. Um, kind of had an idea. And maybe some of the you free-spirited people out there that absolutely know that that's, that's what it is. Let me know. I don't know. It's ready to go in the trash. But I may have to get a new channel name, the Louisiana Playboy. But found that. I don't think the wife would like that on there. Um, this is an interesting little find. I'm not really sure what this is. It reminds me of some something that was to imitate a book or a safe. So no markings on it. Yeah, cool piece. All right. Um, this was a penny week. Um, I found the pennies. Found a ton of clad and not showing all that. But um, as far as the wheats, got a 1935D. We got the uh, 1945 plane. It's a 1940 plane. A lot of these wheats were in fairly good condition, except for this one. Um, I got 1920 off of it. I was going to call it a 1909 SVDB since I couldn't read it, but it does look like a 1920. So we're going to stick with that. And I just want to show all the other pennies that I, that I found. Uh, all of these were this afternoon. As I ran into, in different locations too, everything was 1960s, early 1960s. Um, kind of unusual. But it did, got the uh, 65, this is that folks here, Canadian. We go. It's in really good shape. Had a 1961D. That was in, in great shape. 1961D. So I was hitting the silver years for for the others, but nothing but pennies and not even a lot of wheat. So 1962D. My birth year, an old, pretty bad 1964, and a 1964D, and a 1965 up to 1969D. I'm just showing these because I had so many 1960 pennies today that it was really unusual. I do want to show you one that this probably was one of my favorite finds. It's a 1964D. Um, I think I had that one on the clip. But the uh, the luster on this is just remarkable to me. I didn't do anything but a, a toothpick on this. And I hope it shows up like I can see it. 
I'm going to flip it over the back. It doesn't quite have the bronze luster to it, but it still has that, that shininess to the patina. And to me, absolutely a beautiful coin there. So that was my week in detecting. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed and hope you guys can get out there and can't wait to see your videos. Have a good week.